Hi, I'm here with Trudy Stolting, uh, and I'm Jim Penry. Um, we're gonna we're gonna talk about a little bit of Trudy's experience over the years, and she's been a dear friend of mine for for over two decades and a fellow Sunrider. So, so Trudy, you and I met years ago. I I remember hearing about you, and I just heard that there was a woman that had a lot of health problems, and that she was doing good. And then at one of my meetings, there was a woman that was laughing and very joyous in the back corner. And I was looking back and saying, like, who is that back there? And uh, that's where we first met. And we've been good friends ever since. So when was that? Um, it was about 22 and a half years ago, 1996, Jim. Wow. Yeah. And so when you started... I, I remember your story, and I know you don't usually talk much about this because it's your past, but uh, to me it was always important. It was an important lesson for other people that you were quite ill with lupus and fibromyalgia, and you were at the point where you were, you were dying. And, um, and you had tried a lot of things, and you had just kind of like thrown your hands up in, in despair, and you weren't listening anymore. And um, you were sleeping pretty well, 24 hours a day. Doctor had sent you home to get your affairs in order. And then um, uh, another distributor who knew you well from church had heard you, you know, praying, and and she had been pestering you a little bit. Oh, she had been pestering me a lot, actually. <laughs> I bless Karen to this day for not giving up. When you have a good friend, they just hang in there, I'll tell you. She actually approached me three times with the Sunrider foods, the nutritional foods, and she goes, Trudy, you're dying anyway. What have you got to lose? And when she said that statement, it really caught my attention, but it was the third time that she had tried to help me, right? And finally, I just thought, I'm going to get her out of my hair. I'm just going to say, okay, I'll try it. Because I thought, well, then she won't, she'll quit bugging me, right? So, Jim, it was, it was pretty amazing. I was in bed, like you said, at least 20 hours out of 24. And the other four that I was able to get up and move around and stuff like that, like I was really dizzy. So it was difficult to walk, very mm. difficult to walk. I needed help walking. And it wasn't... It, no quality of blood whatsoever. So, like you said, I had already tried a lot of naturopathic doctors, acupuncture, reflexology, applies kinesiology, uh, doctors, specialists, uh, internists, and they all did the best they could for me. And I could feel a little bit, you know, something a little bit better, but it never lasted. And so I thought, what is, you know, what this is. A housewife pardon me but that's what you know Karen was at home with her children and uh, I thought what does she know compared to all the specialists I'd seen and everything else so I really didn't have I had about this much hope that there was anything that would help me and I thought you know what I'm gonna I'll give it a try what the heck you know she's right I, I really felt like I was dying and uh, she started me on the very basics you know, just, you know, quinary every single day, or some people say it, call it quinary. I call it quinary. I think it's a Canadian thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, new plus, and she gave me a, a bag of Cali, and she gave me a package of Fortune Delight. And I didn't care for the Cali at all, but the Fortune Delight, oh my goodness. And she told me to make it really, really weak, so I made it really, really weak. And I started drinking like that, 12 cock coffee maker worth of fortune delight every single day and it really made a difference but the thing that really made the difference was the new plus for some reason i think my body was so starving for nutrition that it took that new plus and just kind of sucked it in and i felt so good when i was eating it so i ate a lot of it i ate you know, we used to get it in a great big tub, right remember those tub containers jim mm -hmm. it had a scoop in it and i used to sometimes eat like I had trouble digesting any other food. So sometimes I'd eat eight scoops of new plus in a day. Mm -hmm. And uh, the regeneration in my body was just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, over the years I've, I've had, um, especially friends, friends are the worst, I think, and family and it's just, it's that, that you made a really good point because it's like, Jim, what do you know? You know, you're uh, you know, I know you're well-read and you've got a fair bit of experience, but 
I'm seeing a doctor with seven years of university behind him. You know, he can help me. What can you do for me that he can't kind of thing? And I've had this phrase, and I, and I don't want to be negative in any way, but to me, um, no matter how smart someone is, they're only as good as the raw materials they have to work with. Mm -hmm. And, and your story is just so clear that what was lacking is somehow you were starving to death nutritionally mm -hmm. and you, you had tried hard in all the things you were doing. You had done it all. And you may want to mention yeah. some of those. Uh, you know, I think, you know, over the years, literally a 10 year period where my, my health really had declined drastically to the point where I really was checking out. Um, I tried everything you could think of. I mean, tens of thousands of dollars. I spent tens of thousands of dollars, Jim, trying to get well. Because you go to the health food store and they'd say, well, you know, try this or try that. or And so, and it was literally, I was trying everything I could think of it. And I, I would stay with it pretty faithful for a couple months and nothing, you know, just nothing. It wasn't working. If you can't absorb the nutrition that you're eating, then you're not going to get better. Mm -hmm. So and you, you, know, you had your I, own garden, and you made your own bread, and you you did all that. I'm not sure if you did juicing. No, we never did juicing because we didn't have a juicer. But we did all grow organic. We even raised our own organic meat, well, you know, chickens and stuff like that. Uh, we had our own organic eggs, but it just it wasn't enough for some reason for my body. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's Karen, bless her. Oh my gosh. Uh, to this day, I just, I'm so grateful to God for her. Uh, she didn't give up on me. And she said a couple things that really made a difference. She said, well, you've tried all the drugs and the medicines and the, you know, isolates and the vitamins and everything you could think of, but did, have you tried food? And I was kind of angry. And I said, of course, I've tried food. I said, we grow organic, you know, we do all this work and we do all these things. And she goes, what about Chinese food? And I went, well, I like Chinese food. And I was thinking, oh, you know, chow mein and that kind of stuff. <laughs> and then she goes, well, you know what? Dr. Chen, the owner of Sunrider, is just an absolute genius. And he's got these ancient formulas of foods that have been eaten century after century after century by people to maintain their health and to keep really vibrant health and to, for longevity to live to a very old age and be healthy and I thought well that's you know I mean we had quite a good conversation and I said we well, all try those and the rest is history but you know Jim there was things that I did along the way that really made a difference um, because all of the things that the Sunrider nutrition is absolutely super but I sort of felt like I still needed a little bit of something or maybe some something that my body specifically needed. And so I sent my hair away for a vitality analysis. Oh my gosh, I got that back and it was so easy to follow. It said uh, they, they looked at what my body needed and they tested it against my hair and my, you know, uh, hair sample that I'd sent in. And they set out a program for me and I was totally focused and really, really faithful to that program. I didn't cheat. I ate the foods, the Sunrider foods that they recommended on there, all of them. If they said you could have them once a day, I thought, no, I'm just too not well enough to have them just once a day. I would have the maximum. If they said one to three, I would have three. Mm -hmm. right? And I was, I just stuck with it. I really, really stuck with it. I also did um, the 150 regular table foods um, and it came back and, you know, sort of specific things that I was having difficulty digesting at that time. And it would come back as a negative for those items. And I just left them off my food plate. And so by eating the foods that my body really could assimilate and digest at that time and the support of the Sunrider foods, I got I just came alive. Like I really, really came alive. And that's when you saw me sitting in the back of your meetings. I had already been eating Sunrider for about six months, I think, when I ate you. And I, when I met you, rather, Jim. And yeah, I didn't um, think you ate me. I didn't, I don't, yeah. I didn't miss anything. <laughs> I didn't have any bite marks out of my body. That I no, no, but when I first went to your <laughs> meeting. And it was, it was wonderful to have my health back.
it was so exciting and I felt so happy and I, I just, I've never looked back. I just, I will never go back to where I was if I have any choice in this life at all. I will never go without the Sunrider Nutrition. I, there's a couple of stories that comes to my mind and um, because I've, I've, I've used you as a bit of an example over the years when I'm, when I'm trying to make a point and, and, I, and I say, you know, Trudy was someone who just got it. And what I mean by that is, is you, you had been through enough, you had nothing else to lose, and you tried enough things to realize that when you started eating the foods, the first thing that happened, I remember you saying, is that you slept. You slept, you finally had this deep sleep, and it was like, oh my goodness, something's working. Yeah. It was your first bit of new plus and quinary, I think. Right. Yeah. And then you slept for 20 hours or whatever that was. Yeah. And you woke up feeling a bit rested. So now some people would think, oh, I'm more tired. Oh, there must be a problem. Instead yeah. of thinking, wow, my body's finally doing what it wants to do is rest. And then there was times because you were numb from head to toe. And this was always a good example was that once you started getting better, you started getting feeling back in your, in your hands and in your feet and, Yes. And the different yes. parts of your body. But if you ever had a cup of Cali, if you were over visiting me or another summer distributor, or maybe you just try it on your own, Cali is stronger. And all of a sudden you'd go numb again. So some people would go, oh, that must be really bad for me. But you would go, yeah, it's just a little too strong for me at this point. I'll try it again in a month. And now you drink Cali by the buckets, right? This yeah. Nothing Absolutely. harmful about Kelly. It's a food, but you always understood that it's a cleansing food and my body's not quite ready for it yet. So it was the mindset that you had. You know what the mindset is? Regeneration. Sunrise's whole philosophy of regeneration really deeply touched me. In order for our body to regenerate itself and to rebuild itself, um, it needs the right nutrition. It needs the right tools to do it with. And it needs really concentrated herbal foods. And that's what Sunrider is. And if they're not drugs, they're not medicines, they're not supplements, they're food. And that's what our body really, really needs. So I really understood it needed a large variety of whole foods. It needed um, that, that concentration because there's no way I could eat like a, a great big, huge bowl of salad greens with, or all sorts of different salad things in that bowl at a meal and be able to digest it. But you could take a package of new plus put it into uh, my cup. My favorite is putting into a cup of tea and uh, adding some of the sun care or sun nectar to it and just enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And my, my body knew what to do with that. So sun rider doesn't heal anything. It re helps your body to regenerate. Jim, I could have given up a million times. Mm -hmm. There were times when I went through some pretty fierce cleansing and there's probably maybe people that will be listening to this call. They're going to be going through some really deep cleansing when they start well, on the or we, could, or we could even call it a healing crisis. It's like when oh, your yeah. body it starts That's repairing, good. it's like cleaning out the closets. It, it, it's not fun all the time. Yeah. It's just yeah. not. But sorry, it's go ahead, Trudy. Well, I love the example that you used in your meetings. You used to say, you know, it's like we've been throwing a whole bunch of stuff in the garbage can year after year after year, and we've never really cleaned that garbage can out. And then we start, you know, drinking the Fortune Delight and drinking the Cali and eating the New Plus and putting in the Quinary. And, oh, my gosh, Quinary is amazing. If people are really not have as successful as they'd like to now, double the amount of Quinary you're eating. Anyway, you start cleaning out that garbage can. It's pretty stinky. And it's pretty mucky. And it's not necessarily comfortable. But once you get it pretty darn clean, oh, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, when you're cleaning, you're, you're going to have to move the garbage out. You don't want to let leave it in your body. You want your body to be as nice and clean as possible. You want it because it needs that to be able to communicate between the organs and the systems and to be able to function really well. So if you're going through a real cleanse and you're listening to this call, get in touch with the people or the person that introduced you to Sunrider and just talk to them about it because they'll walk you through this and help you to maybe put in more nutrition and gentle or on the cleansing. Mm -hmm. And it really works. Oh my gosh, it really, really works. So a joke between you and I for years, it's like, if, if you're tired, eat more quinary. 
If you're yeah. stressed, eat more quinary. If yeah. you're if you're hyper, which I, I can't imagine that scenario in a sunrider, but uh, eat more quinary, right? Or if you're in pain, eat more quinary. And you just went through a fractured pelvis. And well, yes. Went through a <laughs> lot of pain, right? And um, yeah. and it's like eat more quinary just to get mm -hmm. the healing over and to help with the pain. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, the major healing was done in three weeks. I had two fractures. I had a really nice accident and I mean, it can happen to anybody and fractured my pelvis in two places. And uh, the doctors told me I'd be in the hospital for, you know, probably four to six weeks because of the double fracture. And I was home in five days. In three weeks, I was walking without a walker, crutches, cane, anything like that. And I was able to walk out to our garden and pick the raspberries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the regeneration was phenomenal it's these foods are really powerful foods and besides i've saturated my body with them for 22 years so when you do have an accident or you're in an accident and something you break a bone or something like that just keep eating lots of sunrider because if your body can repair itself yeah it yeah. takes um it takes a real mindset to say this is it I really want to get well. I want to feel well day in and day out. And you just keep going. You just keep doing it. It's, it's what I find great. often, Trudy, is that um, people somehow forget. They're just detached from the idea that mm -hmm. your body can heal and heal itself and be self-regulating. Mm -hmm. Like you cut your hand, you expect yeah, it to heal, absolutely. but they think somehow as soon as there's an internal problem that they need to take a um, medication or have a surgery or something that their body can't heal that. And, uh, and that's the thing that you just got right away that my body can repair and self-regulate. And uh, you, you know, never forgot that. Jim, I have to, to say that I was on drugs and medicines and medications from the doctor and I did not go off of those without doctors. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like I kept going back to the doctor and say, could you test this please? Or could you test that? And gradually over, you know, that six month period, I didn't need any of those anymore, but it was under doctor's care. So if a person's under doctor's care, stay under doctor's care, but keep putting in that super nutrition and then, you know, get tested to find out where you're at. Cause you, you may get your body can regenerate mm -hmm. so don't give up right and um one more thing before we move on is uh we we mentioned that concentration and that's another area that we just don't talk enough about is that when you have a serving of of quinary or new plus and we're not going to get into what those are actually for but quinary is a kind of a formula that balances your all your body systems but uh you know, that 10, 20, 30 times concentration. Imagine that, you know, when you eat an apple, you're eating an apple, but what if you were to eat an apple that was 30 times concentrated down to this powder? So as soon as it hit your saliva, it's activated. Like think how your body feels. And that's one of the most amazing uniquenesses, differences about, uh, about Sunrider. Yeah. And, and being it's all food, right? There's no medicinal herbs and people think of yeah. herbs as well. They're medicinal poisonous, but Sunrider only uses food herbs so just yeah. fill your boots right eat as much as you want and the large variety of foods like most people eat the same 15 table foods you know day in and day out year in and year out mm -hmm. and i mean you know jim that you probably had a hundred of them today and so did i mm -hmm. and so when you have that large variety that concentration it's phenomenal do you know what happened to my life i went from this Basically, I was totally disabled person to becoming totally enabled. And I was so excited. I, I had, was able to go back to work and I was in management and they kept my job for me over those years that I was so sick. And I went back to work and I was just like bouncing. I, I you couldn't hold me down. It was like tear and you know. <laughs> no, not not you, Trudy. Oh yeah. I was just so full of joy and so full of, of life and vitality and energy and well-being and I just had a perpetual smile on my face and Jim I had um, after three months back to work I had a performance appraisal and my boss said to me he said uh, you know you're doing amazing in your job but he said you're just unseemingly happy do you think you can tone it down a little bit and I looked at him and I went you I, I didn't say it but I thought you are out of your mind 
I was almost dead and I have come back to life and there is no way anyone on this whole earth is going to steal my joy. I went back to my office and I quit my job and I started doing Sunrider full time and reaching out and helping other people and, and caring for other people and bringing some hope back into their lives. Mm -hmm. Jim, everyone out there just needs some hope. Whether they need that, whether they want to be a customer and just get better for themselves or whether they want to, you know, actually get their foods paid for, or if they just, you know, want to replace their income from work, like a couple thousand dollars a month, or somebody wants to build a great big business, Sunrider's got just the most amazing products, company, compensation plan, everything all together. So how did my life change? Well, I've traveled the world. When you're sick, you can't even travel, right? Um, I have literally traveled, traveled the world for the last 22 years, just had the most amazing time, sponsored people all over the world into Sunrider. And this winter, my husband and I are celebrating our 50th anniversary next year. And starting the middle of December, we are going to New Zealand for four months on a you know, 50th anniversary celebration. And uh, I just want, our house sitter's not gonna be taking messages, but uh, you know, we'll still be in contact with people. <laughs> it's just uh, an amazing lifestyle. I have hope awesome. every single day I get up and I have hope that I'm, you know, I will be healthy to 100. Mm -hmm. And I'm not gonna limit myself at 100. Mm -hmm. I just feel that we have got something so incredible to share with other people. You know, and, and the message is simple, isn't it, Trudy? You know, is we're not selling anything complicated or whatever. It's just nourish, balance, and cleanse. Sunwriter's got these foods from 5,000 years of Chinese research. And yeah. Dr. Chin, then he, he kind of added uh, modern technology with it to concentrate them and then to perfect them even more. And we just nourish and balance and cleanse our bodies and our body just does what it needs to do. And there's it doesn't matter if it's the sports line or the fat management line or the basic foods or yeah. all the other products we have There's over 400. And, um, one, one message or one uh, thing I was going to mention, I wanted you to drill down on this just to touch, just to make sure we've covered this point is that a lot of people, they, once they start getting better or maybe they've never let them go is vices. And so they've got their, their wine and their coffee and their sugar and their this or the that. And you have towed the line. Yeah, you know, I have thought, towed the line. The thought of insulting your body with a cup of coffee would be more than you could bear. I haven't had a glass of wine or a cup of coffee or anything for 22 and a half years. I have no desire for it whatsoever. I wouldn't even, I don't even like the smell of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to admit that every once in a while I will have some dark chocolate. So I think that maybe that's a little bit of advice, but I find that if I want to have dark chocolate, I just eat a chocolate sun bar. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's not hard to make healthy choices if you've got the right motivation. And I was really motivated and I'm still really, really motivated. I never want to go back to where I was, Jim. It was very, very emotionally painful along with all the physical. When you get that sick and you're that young, it's really, really uh, very, very traumatic. And so when you get well, it's um, just, you, I've been given an amazing gift. If there's one person I can help out there today, if there's just one person that I can meet their needs or their wants, then I fulfilled my purpose today, haven't I? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Trudy. This has been such a pleasure. And, You're welcome, Jim. I'm sure that this uh, video will help a lot of people. I so pray that it does. You, and uh, you're on the opposite side of the country from me. You're I am. In Scotia, and I'm in BC. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Jim, for asking me to do this. Okay, take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.